Now, I have to call this one the clown of all clowns. Look who it is, everybody. It's my arch nemesis. It's Cool Bean once again. You all know Cool Bean, don't you? Have you ever seen this fucking clown? Before I get too far into this baloney, oh, thank God. you to Unknown Queen 89 for the permission to use this clip. And uh, the link to her YouTube channel is going to be pinned in the description of the video. As you know what? Uh, as I'm going to throw in uh, Cool Beans' channel, too. I'm going to link him. I uh, happen to oh, no. find his channel. Uh, no. You can see all of the uh, nonsensical hacks and stuff that goes on there. But um, if anybody who has watched my channel and followed it for the last couple of years, you know, I'd call out, you know, trolls and teamers and geek clowns who <laughs> screw around in games like this. If I hope everybody does know that it's never a personal attack on the person. It's usually in jest, and it's not really it's not meant to hurt anybody's feelings. But I have a personal, deep-rooted vendetta against this cool bean clown, only because the first time I ever encountered him, he was screaming like a raging child at the people in my lobby demanding we turn over our health sprays to him so he could simply run around the map and use an infinite pocket knife glitch against a Jason who was actually pretty good. I mean, you know, screw the heck... To, 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 I can't even talk. Screw to, to hell with the lobby. Give me all of your health sprays so I can cheat. It doesn't matter if all of you die or not as long as I get to run around. So... I never encountered him again until uh, one day, and the video is on my channel. Um, another player by the name of Green Dragon has also called this geek out. He uh, was using an infinite speed hack with a Vanessa when I was Jason, and I happened to get a very lucky shift grab on him down at the ah! boat of Pakenex Small, and I killed him. And he went on a tirade yelling and screaming in the game chat how it was unfair that I targeted him even though he was the one using the hacks and so I put a couple of videos of him on YouTube and I get a 15 page novel about how he's going to sue me take me to court expect uh, I should expect uh, court documents being served to me in my mail he was going to call Sony and get my PlayStation account banned. He was also going to call YouTube. I'm on the phone right now to YouTube this very minute, and I'm gonna get my YouTube. He's gonna get my YouTube channel suspended and all that fun stuff. And then he ends the message with "Have a good day." I mean, not only it is was it the most incoherent spelling error-filled message I've ever had, but really, like. <laughs> So, the gist of it is you use all of these speed hacks and health hacks and instant break free hacks. Like, you think the game is solely meant for you to screw around in and to hell with everybody else playing it. Like, the game is going to die. The fact that you're even using these hacks is just outright pathetic, in my opinion. There's no need for it. It's the simplest game ever, ever to play with. But the fact that this guy thinks that he should be able to get away with it and he rages like a child when he doesn't. And my wife can vouch for it. He started breaking stuff in his house when he was screaming at me in game chat. Like you could hear glass breaking. Are you talking about Cool like, Bean? He went, yes, I'm talking about Cool oh, Bean. Oh, <laughs> he was like worse than a child. He has got to be the most toxic player in that game. Absolutely. He is the most toxic player in that Absolutely. game. Absolutely. You would think that now that the game is ending, he would try to play fair. No, you can't do that. No. Miss Creepers. Cool. Jason shouldn't be able to run. <laughs> Jason shouldn't be able to kill. Jason. Why would Jason have a machete? Jason shouldn't have a machete. <laughs> So basically, it's it. Jason shouldn't be able to do anything to him while he's free to run around and hack and cheat and screw every lobby that he comes across over for his own personal enjoyment. <laughs> hey, Miss Creepers. 
And then there's Cool Bean. Yeah, exactly. It takes it to a whole other level. Hey, Miss Creepers. Cool Bean is in this lobby. How do you feel about Cool Bean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So even my cat knows exactly. about Cool Bean. Because he's a smart cat. Now, <laughs> now I'm going to get to Listen, the... She's still going off. She's on. still going off. I'm going to get to the baloney here in a minute. I did just uh, have a few things to get off my chest there, but uh, here we are. There's this dweeb up on a roof, which people used to do in this game well, quite a long time ago until it got patched, so I don't know how he figured out to do this. There are programs that you can purchase that will give you, I guess, all of these hacks, but, and... Whoa, well, he just walked through a window without having to climb through it, so... I don't know. It's none of my business to tell people what they can or can't do with their money. <gasps> the fact oh that you would pay money to what hack happened? in a game that some children can play better without the hacks, I don't know. So, if he sees this, I challenge him to come and comment on the video and explain to people why it's okay for you to do this, especially when you're not the host. And like I've said before, hijack somebody's lobby and make people sit there and watch you do this for like your own personal amusement. You're not even the host. It's like nobody would have the like really the option to just back out and go to the next match. Like you are uh, basically screwing other people out of their enjoyment of the game when you do stuff like this and come on you know it you throw your teammates under the bus and you try to talk nice to them when the match starts and you will set traps at windows and get them to step in them and you will run them over with the car and you will go into game chat and you will tell the Jason if he's close by and can hear you where the location of other counselors are. You're completely out for yourself. It's, yeah, it's just a dead, dying, sometimes dumb game. But you take the cake when it comes to griefing. So please feel free to uh, respond to it. Maybe send me some more court documents in the mail. And by the way, if you sent them before, I still haven't gotten them yet, even though that was about two and a half to three years ago. Oh, there is some breaking news here on Ya Bunch of Clowns. Apparently, Cool Bean and his friends have finally decided to respond to the video, and we are going to go to live footage of them now. <laughs> well, that certainly was peculiar. And now back to our scheduled programming, where we see here Cool Bean trying to use his hacks so that Jason can't catch him, grab him, kill him trying to call the police 10 minutes and 32 seconds left in the match and I don't know why he's trying to bother calling the police um, this looks seriously glitched here I don't know if that has anything to do with the hacks that he's using screwing the lobby up but you know oh, oh, oh look there's the infinite speed hack so Jason can't catch him because according to Cool Bean it's not fair for Jason to kill him No, it's okay for Jason to kill everybody else in the lobby as long as it's not him. Hence the hacks. So he's going to run the clock down and make everybody in this lobby watch him do it. But, well, they can leave, right? Well, yeah, but that's really not the point. Like, why don't you just escape? Like, you've made your point. You can't get killed, you can't get caught. Get in the car and leave. Which, but no. Oh, no, I can't do that. But, <laughs> no, it's uh, make everybody uh, watch you do this and because it's your game and everything is about you. So as you see here, yes, the infinite break free. Now, I was going to speed this up for time purposes, but... Oh, look, he's going off in his, uh... Going off in the game chat. Now, I I don't know, perhaps he's laughing and thinking of 
saying out loud how funny it is that the Jason can't catch him. And they're, I don't know, I wasn't in the lobby. There could be people giving him shit. But this is terrible. Oh what happened? And as you see, he's just God. trying to run the clock down. Now he's back up on the roof of Pakanak Lodge. I'm sorry, dude. You're pathetic and a stooge. A grade A pathetic stooge. And it really isn't funny anymore. This is the last time I'm going to talk about this dweeb on my channel. Okay, yeah. Do uh, do some more speed hacking and some more wall hacking. Okay, like what is like what, what is he? <laughs> the point of this? Like this is like I'm sure everybody at some point has teamed and gotten team of revenge or just screwed around in the game but this really does take the cake and it's going on and on and on and on and he's running back and forth to these cars I don't know why he's trying to put the cars together because he's not going to make an escape attempt One of the the points of this would be to force the Jason to rage quit, which I like how do you get any fun in that? I'd really like to know what this goon is gonna do when the game is dead and he has nothing to, better to do. Um the battery has already been put in that car, stupid. So the the bonus of this is here, his hacking and his cheating actually uh, backfires on him. I don't know who the Jason was, but he was actually pretty good. Uh, he figures out a way to stop the cheating. And we're going to see that momentarily. This is going on a bit longer than I normally would put a video in, uh, like lengthwise. I try to make them under 10 no! minutes. No! But I guess, uh, for all intents and purposes. No! We'll just keep it playing. Now, the Jason has figured out what's going on, obviously, a long time ago, but he's uh, got quite a good strategy no. here. Now, yes, that's right. Block the stooge in so that he cannot move. Now, at first, I thought that this there. geek right. went AFK and it kicked him from the lobby. Oh, oh, what, what? Are you stuck? Oh, is this not fair? It's not fair that this Jason's preventing you from hacking. Yeah, that's not fair. This Jason shouldn't be able to stop me from cheating. It's not fair. So if an AF, if a player goes AFK in this game, they have about three to four minutes of being idle before they get kicked, and a warning will come up saying, in 60 seconds, if you don't move, you'll be kicked. Now, if you look at the time here, 3.17 left. <laughs> you know what he's gonna do because he's been caught hacking and he uh, he he can't get his 20 minute STN we've all heard the quote hundreds of times on the channel when it comes to clowns like this and I'm just waiting for it just waiting for it Gotta quit! I got caught cheating and hacking and the Jason outsmarted me. That's not fair. I quit. 
I'm gonna go find another mm -hmm. lobby where I can cheat and hack it. <laughs> anyway, cool bean, if you see it, feel free to comment. Anyone else, feel free to comment. And thanks again to uh, Unknown. If you see him in a lobby, run. And if you see him in a lobby, just back out. There's no point in playing with him. Uh, Unknown Queen 89, thank you very much again for the per uh, for the permission to use your clip. Much appreciated. And I hope everybody has a cool bean free day.